I mean, talk about surprises in the sky, Jacob. I think a lot of people were surprised to see all that snow when they woke up this morning. And it was a very beautiful sight, in my opinion, with these very large snowflakes flying through the sky, coating that landscape. And for those that weren't a fan of the snow, it cleared away pretty quickly with those temperatures above freezing, melting away rapidly. Those one to two inches that we saw for most uh, across the west and south have now uh, become a thing of the past as we're now ahead, moving, looking ahead to our next system, which will be a rather potent clipper coming out of north uh, of western Canada and moving into our area. First as a warm front tonight, but then as we go into our Monday night, we'll look for a Arctic front, Arctic cold front to really drop our temperatures, uh, albeit for a pretty brief period of time for Tuesday and uh, into Tuesday night. But for tonight, we're looking at temperatures around that freezing mark, slightly above freezing uh, for most spots with a couple of chances for light precipitation. But check out these high temperatures for tomorrow that I'm forecasting. 60 in Jamestown, that would break an old record from 1895. 61 in Bismarck, which would be very close to a record back in 2016, will be close to records elsewhere with um, a cloud uh, Clouds increasing as we go later on in the day. 50 in Williston as that Arctic front starts to arrive in the north first and then a huge temperature difference for Tuesday. Highs expected to only be in the teens. 12 in Minot, 15 for Dickinson, Bismarck and Williston. So let's go hour by hour here. First with this warm front tonight, a couple of chances of precipitation across our northern counties, US 2 and points north, starting off with some rain near Williston, then transitioning to snow showers on the colder side of this front, encountering that colder air near the Turtle Mountains and over towards northeastern North Dakota. Minimal ex uh, accumulations expected, but a little bit of freezing rain possible from Glenburn over towards Botno, Belcourt, and Candu along that international border. But then we clear out for our Monday, look for abundant sunshine to start today. Then those increasing clouds later on in the afternoon as that cold front starts to push down to the south. Again, temperatures starting to drop along US 2 first. Then as that low pressure system starts to get going a little bit more, we see this snow develop and we could see some moderate to maybe even some heavier batches within this band of snow. Monday evening, starting around to just after sunset in southwest North Dakota, expanding to the central parts of the state in the early morning hours of Tuesday and then into the eastern parts of North Dakota by around sunrise, ending in Bismarck Mandan by that Tuesday morning commute. But we'll be left with a very strong north wind between uh, 10 and 25, maybe 30 miles per hour throughout the day. It'll be a frigid north wind with these temperatures in the single digits and teens. Wind chills will be uh, below zero throughout the entire day. The chances for more than two inches of snow Monday night and into Tuesday are highest from south central North Dakota and into the eastern parts of the state. The snow forecast as it stands for now, again, not that impressive for tonight across the north and east, but Monday night and into early Tuesday could see between one and four inches of accumulation, maybe locally higher from James town and over towards the Red River Valley between Fargo and Grand Forks. The wind chills will be dropping drastically as we go through Monday evening. Uh, wind chills around zero in Williston by 8 p.m. and then all of us in the double digits below zero to start Tuesday with wind chills not improving much as we go into the afternoon hours. So a drastic drop in temperatures. These are actual temperatures. 61 degrees Monday afternoon to 7 degrees on uh, uh, Tuesday morning would be about a 54 degree drop in temperatures in like 18 hours. Could be one of the top 10 uh, uh, largest temperature drops over a 24 hour period in Bismarck's record keeping history. Then we see the sunshine for Wednesday and Thursday with those temperatures rebounding pretty quickly. Have to watch another system by the first weekend of March, but we got some time for that. All right, so North Dakota weather just keeping us on our toes. Oh man, this is usual. the epitome of roller coaster weather. Right <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. All right, thanks, Jacob. Sure. We'll be right back after this.